Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Verdun. Yes, once again we're in the trenches of the First World War, which if you speak to any historian was a fairly mild and docile conflict. Now as you can see from our very effective bright blue camouflage, we're playing as the French, so let's advance unseen towards Bally... Jerry. Uh, we're, we're gonna need a plan B. Now, our new plan B has elements of plan A. Uh, that's right, a charge over open ground under the cover of daylight. It's the last thing they'll be expecting. Well, to be fair, they have got machine guns. Not exactly a game of cricket, is it? Now, wandering into no man's land aimlessly for a third consecutive time would be the very last thing they expect us to do. And so that's exactly what we shall do, and bravo, we're in the German trench. Uh, no Germans, as of yet, mind you. Which probably explains why it was so easy to take. Yes, aside from the dead German on the floor there, nobody else is home. And if I'm honest, one dead German laying on the floor isn't going to hold back the entire Allied advance. At best, he's probably a tripping hazard. Ah, there's a shadow. Ah! Eat knuckle, Fritz! Yes, God's potatoes! Into the ribs! Into the ribs! Yes! Fire! Yes! Fire again! Yes! Reload! Oh god! Oh no! No, that's not gone well. Uh, what kind of rifle only carries three rounds? I mean, really? The French. Welcome, gentlemen, to command headquarters. Yes, or as I like to call it, the Allied Trench. Yes, we're now defending against the Germans. And oh, hello. Things are looking frisky. Aha! Yes, he went down like a sack of potatoes. Oh, there's another one. Fire! Yes, very good. Yes. Bloody hell! And the same to you, Buster! Yes, they're firing, and so we better retreat very quickly. Yes, uh, let's walk. I mean, let's run very quickly in this direction. Yes, it's a common French tactic, this one. Tactically redeploying to a less dangerous position, uh, out of the line of fire. And uh, then, when the time comes to patrol the front lines, you simply stroll up and take a quick peek into no man's land. And yes, that's all safe, jolly good, no need to worry, no Germans there, now let's get back immediately. Yes, that's how you do a bit of reconnaissance in this trench. Very quickly, and with a due sense of cowardice. Yes, bugger me with a fish fork! Where in the name of Bonaparte's balls did he come from? Germany, I suspect. Yeah, well, let that be a lesson to you all. Yes, I've got a bayonet on the end of my gun now. Yes, and the Bosch, well, they don't like it up em. No, they don't like it up em. The old cold steel. No, sir. No. Now, whilst we've got a moment's peace, uh, let me just say, this is a live piece of gameplay. We're doing it live, and so things will undoubtedly go quite wrong. Like for that gentleman there, who's just fallen over. Uh, there will be a lot of shouting, because, well, the way we win wars on this channel is by shouting. We shout, shout, and shout again. Yes, and things usually go our way. We're doing alright so far, to be fair. Yes, now where are the Germans? Ah, gunshots. Clear giveaway. Let's see, now uh, there are Germans there. Either we can retreat, or- No, let's be English about this. Yes, excuse me, this trench is private property. And if you don't vacate the premises immediately, I'll be forced to call the police. Right, that's it, buster. Yes, we shot him. There's another one. Blast, we missed. Well, uh, let's quickly withdraw. Uh, I'm sure the threat of uh, the British legal system will have him running for cover. Yeah, he won't try and invade us again. No, sir. No, look at that, you see? There's none of them coming our way now, no. Now, onto the trench ladders. Yes, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. These are of very poor quality. Look at the splinters on them. No, a fella could quite easily wound himself horribly on these ladders. Yeah, and then he'd be no use when it came to the final scrum down in the German trench, would he? No, sir. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. What a poor state of affairs. Oh, hello, what's going on here? We're all going together over the top, hurrah! Except we're not going over the top because we're French. Uh, no, we'll sit here with the half-time oranges on the sideline instead. Hello. Bravo, what a shot that was. Bloody hell. The Germans have got guns. The Germans have got guns. Uh, who gave them guns? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now, I miss the good old days of the colonial wars where the prerequisite of any campaign was that the enemy should under no circumstances carry guns. I mean, for God's sake, spears made us think twice. No. Terrible, terrible business, this war. Uh, let's go over here, as the enemy are gaining momentum, and we must stop them by moving over here to where the trench is less well defended. Yes, yes, that's why we're over here. Um, it, because the combat isn't very fierce over this part of the trench, yet. Um, should the Germans launch a surprise attack uh, in full force and take us on the flank, well, we'll be here to stop them. Yes, we will. Um, there's one now. Look, you see? There's one now. He's charging towards us. He was. Uh, can't reload the gun quickly. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Zulus! Thousands of them! 
well, not quite. Uh, they're not, in fact, Zulus, and there aren't exactly thousands of them. Uh, we'll move over here instead, to where there might actually be some opposition. Yes. Um, call it out of character, if you will, for a Frenchman. But we need to find the Germans and bring them to arms. Oh my goodness me! There's one now! He's invading the trench! He's in the trench! Fire! Fire again! Yes, that got him right in the back of the head. You know, I'm not exactly shocked that a single German soldier penetrated our trench. It's hardly the bloody Maginot line, is it? And even if it was, he'd just walk around it. Bloody hell, there's a German, and we've been hit! We've been hit! Oh god, fire! Yes, we got him! Yes, now I believe a brave and stern camping manoeuvre is called for. We shall wait here for the enemy. Here we go. Footsteps. Oh, there's someone behind us. For God's sake, excuse me, there's a queue forming here! Oh, he shot him. Oh, bloody hell! Oh no, artillery. Oh no, 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 no. No. Messy. Ooh. Right, gentlemen, here we go. Orders have just come through and good news. Field Marshal Sir Dougie Haig invites you to a mass slaughter as we're going over the top again. Yeah, I think this fellow here has the right kind of idea. We'll crawl our way to Berlin very slowly. Bloody hell! Christ on a bike! Right, uh, run, 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 run. Here we go, we're running, jumping, and jump, and run, two, three, four. Bloody hell, that, that is why you don't wear bright fluorescent red and blue battle dress. I mean, look, the British officer made it an additional 30 yards because he's wearing green in the Somme. I mean, forgive me for thinking, but red and blue aren't the colours I'd pick to camouflage myself against French brown mud in the Somme. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, and uh, now we're going to take more of a defensive role as our brave boys run the gauntlet of fire. Yes, we're going to sit here valiantly and suppress the German lines with our rifle. Yes, in a valiant and brave move. And uh, we've got to fire all three of our rounds because you can't actually reload this gun if there's a round in the chamber because it's French. I don't know. Uh, off we go to death or glory. Last one in the German trench is a sissy. Yes. Oh, bloody hell. We've been blown up more times than Coventry. Right, this time, we're really gonna break through. Yes, it's ice cream in Berlin in 15 days, I say. Oh, or ice cold in no man's land in 15 seconds. Oh dear. Right, I think a change of tactics are required. Yes, yeah, sir, indeed. Now, instead of flanking around the right-hand side and getting fairly close, this time, we're going to go straight down the middle of the map and catch the watchful Hun off guard. Yes, indeedy. Is that an aircraft I spot? It's an aircraft. Looks like a Fokker of some kind. Oh no, you see, no wonder it crashed. German build quality, it's shoddy, you see. Fell to pieces as soon as it hit the ground. If that was a British Sopwith Camel, well, one, it wouldn't have crashed in the first place, and two, well, it wouldn't have fallen to pieces. No, it would remain in one immaculate piece uh, if it hit the ground at speed. They're very well built Sopwith Camels, yes, yes. Very few ever crashed, you know. Very good aircraft. Easy to fly, I heard as well. Now, there are Germans right here, so we better stop with the aircraft talk. Can't help it sometimes, sorry. Bloody hell, is that a German? It's a German's head. Well, he's, he's dead, as it turns out. Right. Uh, bravo, Isimo. Let's get in there, shall we? Aha! We're in. Tally-ho! Fire! Yes, we killed him. Pull back the bolt. And... Ah, hello. Good morning. Friendly forces. No need to worry. And let's go this way, shall we? Yes. Aha! Germans! Mm, charge! Charge! Mm, keep charging! Charge! Oh, hello. German! Oh, he's very much dead. Uh, good work! Good work, everybody! Charge! Charge! Oh, dear. Fire! Oh, God. Retreat! Retreat, possibly. Uh, yes. Let's pull back subtly, yes. Uh, here should do. Yes, we'll wait for them. Yes, decisively and bravely. Yes, are they coming? Oh, they're late. No, okay, let's let's go and meet them halfway, shall we? It's only polite. Oh, God! Yes, we got one! Bayonet! Yes! Yes! We jabbed him with our rock card baguette! Oh, God! Oh, we forgot to pull back the bolt on our rifle! No, oh, we can edit that bit out. Don't worry. Don't worry. We can edit it out with editing magic. Charge! 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 Don't be shy. Come on, everybody. Charge! Here we go. Yes, charge! Explosions don't bother us. No! Aha! Yes! Any more? Any more Germans? Aha! Here we go! Fix bayonets! Yes! Take that, sausage lover! And you too! Bravo, I say! Now, now, now. Uh, we best reload our rifle before venturing around this corner. We learned our lesson. Oh, God. Right, let's go again. Charge! Charge! Ch what? Retreat! 
Right, that's it. Time to shoot some deserters. Where's my service revolver? Uh, I don't have one. I have a stupid French rifle. Uh, it'll have to do. Right, let's see. Um, Frenchman. Ah, uh -huh. uh, oh, British soldier. Uh, he's not retreating. No, no, no. He's tactically repositioning. Yes. Obviously, he spotted some Germans back at HQ, which is why he was running very quickly towards friendly lines. Uh, the least we can do is attempt to cover his uh, retreat. I mean, envelopment. Yes, here we go. Some expert marksmanship here. Oh, we missed that time, admittedly. Uh, reload the gun. Any Germans over here? No? Okay, let's advance. Let's attack. Yes. After all, attack is the best form of defense. And apparently, we are to be executed for desertion in 40 seconds for attacking the enemy. Typical French. Oh, hello. Uh, the, uh, the British officer has shot us three times because, well, we're French. Now, there's 30 seconds left, and where are the Germans? I'd rather like to get a kill before it all ends. I mean, for God's sake, isn't that bloody typical? All year round, there are four and a half million Germans on the Western Front, and the second I actually want to see one of the bastards, they've all buggered off. I mean, isn't that bloody typical? Maybe if I call to them in their native tongue. Vorsprung Dirk technique! Ah, it bloody worked! Yes! There we go. There's a kill. Bravo, I say. Yes! Oh, and uh, yes, we've been executed. Jolly good. Well, first class, I say. That's a draw. Pretty good for the French, if not a record setter. Absolutely wonderful. Now, let's see how great I am. Yeah, here come the medals. Prepare yourselves. Any second now, medals will flow. Uh, here we go, here we go now, and, uh, here we go, contact! Yes! Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I mean that very, very sincerely, yes I do with brass knobs on. Uh, if you did, please especially like via Carrier Pigeon, a pigeon with a name akin to Speckled Jim, if possible. Yes, and I'd also like to thank one of my brilliant Patreon pledges, uh, Connor Carlin, thank you very much, Connor, for supporting my work over Patreon. It means a great deal, it really does. Anyway, uh, cheerio!